I'm Coriano and this is my capstone project. Just to recap the beginning of my presentation, my service-oriented project is based off the inquiry question, how can I use my marketing knowledge to help spread awareness for Scott Fitz BC? Over the course of this year, I kept up my monthly timelines. I created three poster advertisements, created a mock-up design for the social media platform, researched and discussed with my mentor about suitable places to put the posters for these specific target markets, created a volunteer poster to attract high school volunteers, and as well, created online promotions and visual aids. But first, I had to talk to my mentor about the whole process. This is Catherine. She's a current third year UBC business student studying in global supply chains. In the past, she has taken introduction to marketing in her first year at UBC and has worked as a social media coordinator virtually at Tofino Resort and Marina. This was prone to be especially helpful to me as I learned a few tips to incorporate into my project. Catherine helped me with each step of the project, giving feedback on each work I did. In the beginning months, I created my three posters with a program Canva and asked for her feedback. The three posters were created with distinct colors, pictures, and features, which needed to be discussed with her. The first poster focuses on the young demographic coming to the games, aged 18 to 30. The colors are bright, simplistic, bold, and modern. The main emphasis lies on the entertainment aspects, such as the whiskey tent and live music, but still uses elements of Scottish heritage in the plaid designs, bagpipes, and color scheme. The best location for the young demographic around Coquitlam would be local universities, community centers, and coffee shops. I ended up putting the young demographic poster up at Starbucks and at Simon Fraser University. The second poster is to target the older demographic, more than 50 plus years of age. The background shows a bonding experience at the games, uses bold lettering for those of bad eyesight, and instructions on how to use the QR code I created, which Catherine mentioned to do so. The older demographic was a bit more difficult, but Catherine suggested for places such as nursing homes and grocery stores. I ended up going to the local grocery store, No Frills. The third poster is to attract family demographics for younger children. It showcases the learning aspects for the games and the entertainment for a fun family day it can bring. The colors are playful and simple, catching the viewer's eye. The family demographic was best to be put around local playground boards, schools, community centers, and the library. I ended up putting these posters up in Poirier Community Center and the public Coquitlam Library. After driving around the town and putting up posters, I decided to start on the online marketing by redesigning the Instagram social media handle and creating media ad posts. Although I didn't have permission to change the current page, I created a mock-up of what the updated page would look like. By contrast, the current social media page is not up to date and isn't pleasing to the viewer's eyes. By Catherine's suggestions, she mentioned to keep it to a color scheme, which in this case is green, red, and blue. And I incorporated pictures from around the event and even created a customer testimony to add as a post for the current website. In addition to just Instagram, I created a mock-up partnership ad through a Facebook post format. Researching around the Coquitlam area, I found a local brewing company named Marine Brewery that could be a perfect addition to the games and give publicity through their local customers. The poster uses simple colors to create a minimalistic feel and to be natural to the eye. It uses lifestyle marketing techniques, appealing to the viewer to want to be in a social setting. As well as the poster, I also created a customer testimony to add onto the social media pages. To create a volunteer poster was a simple way to attract more attention to the games and supporting them by marketing for more help with running the booths and events. By posting multiple versions of a volunteer poster around Dr. Charles Best, I'm able to spread awareness while using my skills I used for creating my demographic posters. Since high schooler students have short attention spans and myself as well, I had to quickly grab attention using my poster. I used bold red lettering that clearly states the main message. I ended up putting these posters around the career center, the counseling office, and one of the busiest stairwells. To quickly check the website, I used the same QR code I created for my demographic posters. 
Throughout my project, I reflected on communications for the making of my advertisement posters and volunteer posters. With Catherine, we both discuss ideas and knowledge with our interactions. Through our collaboration, I was able to develop and further transform my ideas for the poster into the best version possible. Furthermore, I worked on my communication competency with the store owners and public when putting up the posters around my community. I asked for the locations I could put them up in and the best place for customers to notice them. For example, at No Frills, I asked the manager where she would recommend putting the posters up and was directed to a billboard in front of the store. For the volunteer poster, I had to communicate and collaborate my ideas with the vice principal in asking where to put my posters up around the school. I asked about the placements of the poster around the stairwell, but he proposed the idea of putting them up by the career center where students look for volunteer opportunities on the board there. Furthermore, I largely had to rely also on the thinking competency, specifically in the creative thinking sub competency. By using my existing ideas from past school projects, such as posters made for marketing classes, I used my imagination to expand on the existing knowledge. For example, I looked at my old poster ad created for environmental awareness, and I incorporated bold lettering and the QR codes to look simplistic and easy for a viewer to check out the website, which I incorporated into my new posters. Another core competency I used during the project was the personal and social competency, specifically the positive and cultural identity. With my background being half Scottish, it was interesting to learn more about the heritage behind the Highland Games around North America and the variety of events that take place. For example, I learned that the Highland Games originated from Ireland in 2000 BC and that the event was made during the reign of King Malcolm III when he summoned men to race in order to find a royal messenger. This project was a fun process for me, utilizing skills that I usually enjoy as a hobby. To help a local nonprofit event is something I'd like to do more often, even in the smallest ways of just spreading awareness about the festival. I learned a lot about working with others and receiving and inputting feedback from Catherine, communicating with the public and learning about the history of a part of my family. Making posters and redesigning social media websites are things I'd like to do in the future and as a possibility as a side career in marketing. So hopefully one day my capstone project skills will come in handy.